Hey, what's going on guys? I'm the Glitch Gamer, and welcome back to Minecraft Feed the Beast Unleashed. So, earlier, I had a little... Oh, oh. it is really windy outside, and I'm right next to my window, so you probably can hear the wind. But, um, we had a... We are under a tornado watch because of the storm that was blowing on through. Nothing really happened because the area I live in never gets any bad storms. Like, it has everything fly over top of it. The only bad thing we really get is maybe uh, snow. You can get a lot of snow. And since we live in like a little neighborhood area where it's off the beaten path, it's like right off a, it's a mainish road, but like there's no trucks that really go by. It's usually local people, the good old local boys who will go ahead and uh, plow it with their trucks. So I was just at the nether, and I decided to get some lava buckets and fill that up. Three, four, five, six, oh, I didn't do three. I was going to oh, refill up my, ah, let's see, two, one, two, and one, two. So. I don't know why I didn't just do this in the first place and put them in Yeah, I want to finish this off. Sure, sure. I had set up... It's kind of cool The about these that uh, they don't overheat, but I guess you can possibly have it with too much uh, power inside of it. But like I just playing the server and I made a magmatic engine and... Uh, placed it in the nether and I placed it next to a pump so that the pump would always work. Because when you place it, a pump next to it, it automatically uh, puts in lava inside the tank, so it's a good power source. So I made one of these. Where is it? Where is it? Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to my stuff? Okay, that sucks. I was making a facade. So, let me go get the stuff that I was using to make the facade. That's not what I was using. That's not what I was using. I put it in here, didn't I? I wanted this. So, since I'm here, maybe it'll sh work right. Two, six. I want that being made. And I guess I should probably place a chest right next to it. That might be a problem. Sure. On the server that I was playing that we are, well, other people are making a spaceship so we can go to space because it's tech it. So it has different mods and whatnot and uh, it's one of the things we're trying to do kind of fun. Pull out my food. <sighs> Lost track of what I was doing. No, I didn't. Okay, I need an ender pearl. I don't know what else I need. <laughs> so I need a cauldron, wool, and not, not what I wanted to do. I know how to make a cauldron. I don't need that. I need seven of these. Yes. Excellent. The good. So I got this, this, yeah, yeah, and I can go make some obsidian. I really want to refine my base so I can actually have a legitimate tree farm, but I'm too lazy for that. I don't think about it beforehand. So, yeah, yeah. Alright. So I think I need to have a second one of these. I just want to see if it does anything. Let's see. Put you here. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll save that for later. Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, I have that done. So now I can do something else, like explore, as per usual. 
I have a ton of stuff, including this, which I want to go ahead and make myself my typical life steal. Boop, boop. It's so aggravating not having a tinker's construct because that's one of the first things I want to make is a. I forget what it's called. A uh, not a pickaxe or a shovel, but the hammer so I can go ahead and uh, have fun with that. Shoot. <gasps> oh no! But I was doing the facade so I could put stuff around there, see if I could put stuff around there. I might make an inner facade so that it looks cool. Uh, pile of ash, I don't know where to put that, so I'll put this in a miscellaneous chest right here. Put you up in here. I just got so much stuff from the, the uh, nether. Doop a doo. Don't need any of y'all. Hmm. Nothing else to put in there. But I do get some other cool stuff. Dun dun dun. Choo, choo, choo. Choo. Oh, and you. I don't need all y'all. I only need two. Put away both of you. So what I was going to do is I have these guys. I don't have any ink. Jeez, it sounds like there's a storm going on, but it's just the wind. Like apparently there was a bunch of tornadoes in uh is it Illinois? Or whatever, another another place. That's not here. <laughs> it kinda sucks for them. But, um, I don't think I've ever been in a tornado. I've been close to being in one, as in, like, uh, I was on a trip, and it was a real bad storm came, and we kind of got trapped in our car. It was heavy. Oh, that, that also happened when I removed the mods. <laughs> but we were in a real bad storm going up to vacation on, uh, the west side of the state. And when we were just about outside of town, my mom was driving and it started getting heavy rain, heavy, heavy, heavy rain. So eventually it started to get to where she couldn't see, so my dad took over. And he was driving and started hailing, and uh, the vision was so terrible, like you couldn't see a car length in front of you, pretty much. So, like, the only thing you could see were the lightning bolts coming down and striking. And you could hear it, it, it uh, was really close to the car. It's kind of freaky. But we pulled over because we couldn't see anything and the wind was heavy, everything was bad, and we thought we were in the middle of a tornado, so we pulled over and uh, we we waited there until the end of it and it turned out we were in like a church parking lot, which is funny. <laughs> you know, you like, I don't believe in God and whatnot, then, uh, something like that happens to you. It's kind of funny. What is this thing doing? What are you doing? Come on. <gasps> what are you doing? Get back here. Where'd you go, baby girl? There you are. It's one of those things that people would be like, oh my god, God saved me. And it's like, no, it's the weather. I believe in thinking logically, but it's just not, it's like, it's one of those things where I don't believe necessarily, but it's not like I don't believe. It's a double-edged sword. It's kind of hard to uh, say you don't, and it's kind of hard to say you do, or for me, is what I mean. I don't like it when people think, oh, you're dumb if you believe in religion. Uh, how about people get to believe in what they want to believe? Because you can't prove one way or the other. So, stop trying to act condescending towards people. I was going to get some, uh, ink. Jeez. Got sidetracked there. <laughs> I don't, I don't like it when people act better than each other. Even though I pretty much say... <laughs> That I don't like people who have their kids like that, but it's like, 
That's something everybody should believe. You know, treat kids like kids and not like friends. You're there for, uh, you know, guidance. You're there to be a parent, not to be a friend. They got plenty of friends. Or maybe they don't. You don't need to have a lot of friends. That's a very, uh, incorrect statement is that you need to have a lot of friends to be considered normal or good. I don't know, it just seems seems like the more friends you have, the less interaction you have with each individual one, so you have less of a less of a impact on them. Like the less friends you have, the more you can spend time with them, the more you can learn about them, the more you can uh actually be friends with them. You know, you're not too busy tied down bouncing between like 30 people. Stay between your like group of 15 close friends or something. I don't understand those kids in high school that make it seem like you need to have a lot of friends to be uh, somebody. I always remember having those uh, party girl teachers Reminded me of those kids that were douchebags. The party girl teachers who, uh... They would go out drinking and whatnot. You know they did, and, like... They were young, so... Obviously, they have a certain amount of attractiveness to them. And it... I don't know, it makes kids harder to focus when they have those kinds of teachers. I'm not saying they're bad teachers at all, but I'm just saying... It makes them hard to makes it hard to focus when you have teachers like that. <laughs> so I can actually make a third age because I already have one of these books. I already have two of those books. So all I need to do is this. And I want to make myself some of these. So Oh, I need to make much more. I do need about six. So that's good. Uh, where are the other books? Right, ha. Screw using just that uh, thing. Hmm. I don't want to get these mixed up, so I'm going to put these all the way over here. One, two, three. So, one, two, Boop, 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 boop. Need four, five, six. Five, four, six. So I got my teleport back. I got my teleport two. Then I'm going. Oh, yes, I did cheat the last episode. It's pretty pathetic. When I went to the nether, because I, the nether, the nether, yeah, the nether. Oh my. Oh my, this is a pretty big cave. Unless this hasn't loaded in below me. No. What is this? It's black. Black water, I'm assuming. But, um. Shoot! Lost my train of thought. When I went to the nether, I went to the nether fortress so I can get those blaze rods, because I know there's a couple blaze spawns. And, uh, okay, that's what I thought. Poison and hunger. That's one of those ones that I had before. Um, when I went to the nether, I went to the fortress, and, uh, at every intersection, once you'd get the minimal distance you need to go before you can actually have the uh, mob spawn, I, uh, saw, like, five wither skeletons just spawn at once, and I killed at least, like, 50, 60 wither skeletons, but none of them dropped a wither bone, except for one. So this is going to be, oh, home. No, home port, whatever. It works. These places are always so cool. I want to check something real fast. So, let me see. This is a really cool cave. I like it. I really like this. This would be a fun place to build a Thanima Burb. Is that 
Is that what I think it is? <laughs> I'm going over here. You guys can't. Those are huge. Oh no. There's just multiple, multiple of them together. Oh, I thought this was the. Uh, I want to call it a reliquary because that's what it looks like. Just an ancient building sitting there. I never said on my beef arm. But an ancient building sitting there with the uh, sacred object in there. Sacred object being the pages to take you to different ages. I know reliquary being a location of relics, as in usually religion based. Could also be lore based, but in actual speak, it would be. Would be. Whatchamacallit? I can't even think. <laughs> would be religion based. In real life it would be religion based. These places... Oh. I could just get a turtle and put them in here and just get them to go ham. Why did I come back here? I wanted to go out. So this is age 6, which I like. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be in there anymore. Let's go to age 4. What's in here? Uh oh. I don't like the look of this. It's snow. I bet you can make it look like ash. You can make it black. That'd be a cool look to have. Hmm. So, let me set this up. Over here, and over here, and this is going to be home. I want to go up on top of here. I'm eventually going to set up a uh, the mass fabricator. That's something I really want to do because it looks like so much fun to have. Not so much fun to have it. it. Looks like so much fun to craft. Please be something good. Give me a miner's wood. Sickly, sickly. Uh, I don't really need buckets of. E I don't need either one of those because I have tons of them. <laughs> I'm just marking these off so I know which ones I did. Because I didn't do that in the Twilight Forest. This is an easy way to find that. I'm just going to call them reliquaries. This is going to be an easy way to find the reliquary. I so wish I had enough supplies. Oh, oh my! You guys are ridiculous! Is that minor wood? Um. I think it's minor wood. <laughs> <laughs> I like making that noise. Oh, how come there's so many sickly. Bajabaj? Explored. There's a time. Ooh. Since I didn't have the jetpack on the on the map before when I was exploring these worlds, I want to explore what's inside here if there's anything. I doubt it, because it looks like it's solid. <sighs> what a troll! That looks cool though, from far away. Hmm, that's nothing probably. Huh. Face itches. So. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know what to think. I hear the zombies, which means it's in here. How come so many animal. mobs? I mean. Not animals. How come so many mobs are spawning in these? Oh yeah, that's right. You can barely get hurt now because of my life steal. Haha. -ha. Uh, apple mangrove. I already had one of those. I don't need that either. I do want to see this, however. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. That one looks different. 
Explored. All right. So I'm gonna check out the last world. Not the last world. The last place. So I'm guessing this uses a generation similar to the Twilight Forest, since it creates those. Well, obviously, since they create them. But I mean, since it creates those pillars, it can spawn in any kind of tree it wants. <gasps> Cow! My god, that wind sounds so ferocious, but it's really nothing. One thing I dislike is the sound of wind. It's not necessarily that it scares me, it's just one of those things I dislike. Like, there's a lot. I think there's only one thing in this world that truly, like, freaks me the bananas out. And that's pretty much the only thing that, like, I would die if it happened, something happened with that to me. I think I can pretty much get over any of my other minor fears. People have- I don't understand how people have that many fears like the people who fear everything. Shoot, get away from me. Get away. It just seems very irrational, but I guess that's what fears are, is just irrational behavior. Steadfast, alright. Sounds like a trooper. Alright. I can use those to create scrolls or something at the arcane work table. Not arcane work arcane work table? No. Something. Where's home? Home? Ow! No! No! Those are burrows or whatever they're called. He escaped. I wanted to see cobble. Does cobble make it? Yeah, it does. My friend said it made it and I didn't know. I didn't trust him. Jeez. Okay, let's see. Eh, doesn't really help. <laughs> I need to deposit this junk. Show you, there's a lot of stuff to go in here. A lot of stuff. And that's about it. Um, you go in here. Sha sha. You in here. Oh, no, no, no. Mm hmm. A lot of goodies. Should really get rid of that. Do ba do 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 do. I don't want you. Put you in. Yeah. I'm gonna try putting that really low into the ground and see if that actually works. I'm just gonna dump off the rest of the stuff inside of a chest. Inside of ya. Yeah. Sounds like a literal tornado. <laughs> Although I've never been in one, but they say it sounds like a train. Like a train is coming at your house. What did I put in here that I wanted out? Water. Wee! Wee! That's what I'm gonna set up and get set up while I finish this episode is the Ender. Ender, nether, whatever. Chest, not chest. Storage tanky thingy. Haha. -ha. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. I want that sky back. I want that green sky. That was cool. Oh, that is cool. That is badass. I keep having these tendrils and they're nothing useful. <gasps> oh no, I froze! Okay. So, home. Hmm, this tendril has multiple things in it, so this is just like standard thing where stuff can spawn in it. Ah! No! I froze! That's how it happened yesterday. I froze in the lava and I started dying. Which is baloney. <laughs> Heathland. I had uh, this Dutch friend from a game that whenever I'd say baloney, he'd say it back. He'd go baloney. 
because he liked the way I said it. And he never heard that expression before I started using it. Okay, this is really killing... Okay, I have to get out of here. It's killing my FPS. Like, my FPS is fine. It just keeps getting these freezes, and it's annoying. <sighs> no! Oh, I wanted to explore this place on camera. <laughs> oh, well. I can go make a cow farm and get myself more leather. I want to see this real fast. Enchanting. Advanced... Can't spell. Advanced enchanting table. <laughs> and that's where I can customize my stuff. I don't want to make that. That's baloney. That's baloney. Hmm. So I can make some golem workers if I can figure out how to actually get them to work. I don't think it's that hard, but I just need to research a lot of the golem worker stuff in Thonecraft. But with that being said, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you keep watching. And why? Oh, because I turned it off. Oh, thanks for watching. I hope you keep watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.